So I started with a 27 by 38 inch sign that I had picked up from a garage sale. It was actually brand new and um, I guess they just never put it up. Anyway, it cost me a whole dollar. So I was kind of excited about it. I cleaned it up and then I took painter's tape and I put it along the back where there's um, the division lines because I didn't want resin to seep through. and. This uh, painter's tape is enough. You just have to really press it down so that none of the resin can get through. And after I was done with that, I flipped it over and I painted the entire sign white. And after I had finished it, I kind of thought, oh, I really didn't have to do it white. I could have just taped it off and did the red, white, and blue. And anyway, after it dried, I measured and taped off um, for the white and red stripes and then taped off again for the blue at the top and just painted it all several coats and let it dry. After it was done drying, I was ready to prepare the resin. When I work with resin, I use gloves, I use a respirator. It's in your best interest to do it in a well-ventilated area. For this project, I used art resin. Art resin is a one-to-one -one ratio resin, one part resin to one part hardener. You mix them together in a cup for approximately three minutes, scraping the sides, scraping the bottom to ensure thorough mixing. Then, the slower you mix it, the less bubbles you'll get. Then I went ahead and I poured as little as I needed onto the top of the board and spread it all over with my hand. And then I took some celestial glass, clear glass, that I had previously painted blue. And I don't know if I used alcohol ink or the Krylon stained glass spray paint. I don't remember. I've had this glass sitting around a little, uh, a, a little while, but either would be fine. And I took it and I sprinkled it over the blue, started to sprinkle it over the blue areas. The other thing I got out was my um, three stars that I had picked up at Dollar Tree. Of course, so at Dollar Tree, it's now $1.25. And I pulled the white star off of it and placed that in the center of the blue part of the flag. Then I continued to sprinkle the rest of the blue glass around over the blue paint. Next, I took some celestial glass that I had painted red, and I think I had used the cranberry red Krylon stained glass spray paint to paint that, and I just sprinkled that all down the red. And at first, I wasn't going to put any on the white. I What I did was I took some iridescent sprinkles and sprinkled that all over the white stripes there. And then after I looked at it, I decided I wanted to put some uh, white glass. Now this white glass that I have that I sprinkle over the white stripes is glass that I had previously prepared. It's glass that was originally celestial glass, clear celestial glass that I had taken and mixed with Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. I took a big spoonful of it and mixed the two together in a bowl and then spread it out on parchment paper to dry overnight. You have to keep it separated so that it all doesn't stick together and make sure you put it on a non-stick surface. So then I took this white iridescent glass and just put it all over the white stripes on top of the iridescent sparkles. I took more of the iridescent sparkles and just decided to go over everything with it. And I think it really made it look pretty. And being iridescent, um, I know when you look at it, it looks white. But when you once you sprinkle it on, it kind of picks up the color that's underneath it or around it. And I just sprinkled a little more um, resin over everything. And when you're done, you have to let it sit on a flat, level surface overnight. It's fully cured after 24 hours, and it has to be at temperatures between 72 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, there's our flag. <laughs> I think it turned out so pretty. I love the, well, I still have the tape on the back of it. I got to get off. And look, had I not had on, that on there, that resin would have leaked through because it looks like a little bit dead. Let me show you. 
So whenever you have an opening like that, if you can't glue it, that um, painter's tape will really help. Can you see where it started to come through? But the painter's tape stopped it. See that? So yeah. Anyway, so um, now <laughs> I love how sparkly, let me bring it up close. Can you see the sparkles up at the top and all down it? Yeah, it looks so pretty. And um, now this, honestly, if you had, the, the, this board cost me a dollar from the garage sale. If you had just painted it with the blue and the red and white stripes and then took some of those iridescent sprinkles and uh, they look like they're white sprinkles, but they're really iridescent because you can see how it picks up the blue color up here and the red there. And um, you could have even just painted this on and after, actually you could have Mod Podged the whole thing before you did anything after you painted it and then put those sprinkles on and that would have looked pretty just like that. But I had the glass and I had the red and the blue glass and this white glass too, so um, I wanted to use it. And uh, I think it looked pretty. I'm gonna put it on my front porch and it'll be great for Memorial Day and 4th of July, you know, for a couple weeks during 4th of July, I thought it would look real cute on the front porch. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna be notified of future videos, subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.